if we're going to have a hope of understanding and of a meaningful future, we have to start with the children. And we can educate them not to hate, not to discriminate, then we have a chance. If we can educate the young, then hopefully there will be a different world made by those young people. In high school, I visited uh, the concentration camps in Poland, and I felt like this wasn't the end of the story. It's Holocaust Education Week. Students at the University of Guelph wanted to take lessons beyond the textbook and bring something to campus that is large as life. A startling sight at the university, a replica cattle car, similar to the one used to transport Jews and others to concentration camps during World War II, is now parked at the university. I brought this replica cattle car to my university campus and design an interactive and immersive exhibit inside. Since Wednesday, as many as 2,000 people have come to see the exhibit. When I heard uh, Jordana speaking, uh, I was totally blown away at that time. I think she was, I think she was 20, 21 years old and she had started at age 16. We became the first people on the advisory committee with Jordana. We were donors to the project. The beta testing at Guelph indicated to us how um, much of a need there is for this education. So initially the plan was a lot simpler. We said, okay, we'll just make one video that we project on one of the walls. But as we were brainstorming and as things developed, we said, hey, what if we projected video on all of the walls? You know, what if we created this fully seamless 360 degree experience that will really resonate with people and leave them something that they can take home. Um, we did some work just with the school boards. I had her come and meet all the history heads in York Region. It was nice to see the response from everybody else of, yes, yes, this is something we would absolutely want. I think we need uh, something new in terms of how do we educate uh, the next generations. Our young people are just constantly bombarded with images and this is going a step beyond just giving them images. We had actors and we had green screens, we had a big studio set up so we could properly capture what we needed to project into a 360 degree space. We have to remind people of what can happen in the world when good people do nothing to see it, to experience it, to try and imagine what it was like being there for three days and three nights. I think there's a lot of different kinds of learners and especially for a student who might be bored of reading things in a textbook, they need a different kind of education. And this is information that you are a part of. To hear the account of people who were there and see them right in front of you, where you're actually looking at the story manifest right before your eyes in the place where it took place, I think it's just really powerful. They will really absorb the information and it will stick with them and they will use it. It will shape who they are. With what Jordana and her crew have been able to create, when you march through that cattle car and you come out the other end, you are a changed person. We went out and had a look at it after the meeting. It needed to be completely refurbished and, and to be prepared for the education tour to all the schools. We put a brand new trailer under the cattle car, like 17,000 pounds trailer that can carry almost anything, and fix the roof and fix inside. You can pull with a normal pickup truck, you can go anywhere. As you can imagine, as the years have gone by, it is harder and harder to take kids on field trips. I mean, teachers are just are so excited about this idea where we can bring this knowledge, this experience, this field trip to them. And there won't be all those extra costs sort of surrounding of getting the kids somewhere. We actually are going to bring the, the field trip to the students. So I think that is just a brilliant idea. The Holocaust is fading from recent memory as the years go on. And unfortunately, the Holocaust survivors and the people who witnessed the atrocities are diminishing in number. You guys, young, you have to continue with this, that you know, stand for yourself. It's your life, it's your children's life that will never happen again. Our goal is not merely to teach, not merely to commemorate. Our goal is to empower. Our goal is to transform. And every single student that we encounter, that they too can make a difference in the lives of thousands. We can't let Holocaust education fall behind. We have to continue innovating in order to inspire because this education must continue.